Alright, what is up you guys? I wanted to come to you guys with my NXT review. Let's get right into it. To start off NXT, we had Dakota Kai versus Rhea Ripley for the number one contendership to see who will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30. This was a really good match between Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai for the number one contendership to the NXT Women's Championship. This was a good match. Um, these two women tore the house down, man. Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley are absolute beasts, man. These women can absolute go in the ring, man. This match was very entertaining, man. I love this match. These women had a very, very good match. I enjoyed it. Um, it was enjoyable. It had great storytelling. It had great... Uh, it, the in-ring psychology was there between Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley. These two women had a very, very good match to start off the night for NXT for the number one contendership for the NXT Women's Championship to see who will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30. This was a very, very good match, man. These two women absolutely tore the house down in the first match of the night. This match was exciting. It kept my attention. I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. It was it had great storytelling, great wrestling. This match was fun, man. I enjoyed it. These two women had a great match, man. This was a good first match to kick off NXT tonight. This was a good match, man. I really, really enjoyed it. Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley absolutely destroyed each other in this match, man. This match was awesome. Loved it. This match was really really good man i mean these women absolutely went to no lengths to destroy each other and have a really good women's match to start off the night for nxt this match was good man and i mean this this was a number one contenders match between rhea ripley and dakota kai to see who will face io shirai at nxt takeover 30 and dakota kai Ends up picking up the win over Rhea Ripley. And Dakota Kai will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30 for the NXT Women's Championship. This was, I think this was the right decision because I don't really want to see Rhea Ripley again right now for the NXT Women's Championship. I don't really want to see that again right now. But maybe somewhere down the road I would like to see Dakota uh, I'd like to see Rhea Ripley go up against Io Shirai. I think that match could be very good later on down the road. But right now, I think Dakota Kai is the best woman to face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30 for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, Dakota Kai is white hot right now. Dakota Kai is the best woman in NXT right now. She's done a lot of great work on in NXT and she's I mean she has some she's had some great matches. So this match between Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley uh on NXT was a very good match. It was it was fun to watch. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great match between EO between Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley for a number one contenders match to see who will face EO Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30. When I go back and rewatch this match again between Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley in a number one contenders match, to see who will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30 for the NXT Women's Championship, absolutely. I would absolutely go back and rewatch this match again because this match was a very, very good match. Enjoyed it, man. It was enjoyable. And Dakota Kai picks up the win over Rhea Ripley. And Dakota Kai will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30 for the NXT Women's Championship. And then we had a triple threat match with Damian Priest and, um, and, uh, and, um, and I think it was, um, Oni Lorcan. Yeah, Oni Lorcan. It was Damian Priest versus Oni Lorcan versus, uh, Ridge Holland. This was a very, very decent triple threat match to see who will advance into the North American Cha Championship ladder match at NXT TakeOver 30. 
this was a very good triple threat match. I I thought it was decent for what it was. I enjoyed it. Damian Priest looked good in this match. They're putting up. They're really, you know, pushing Damian Priest, and I, I think that's the best thing to do. Damian Priest needs a reset, and I think this is the best thing to do is re is push him because he needs this. He needs this push, man. They re, they really need to get some momentum behind Damian Priest, and I think that you know Damian Priest needs to be in this latter match at NXT TakeOver 30 for the North American Championship. I really think Damian Priest fits that mold. I think he's going to be a great I think he's going to be a great challenger in that latter match. I think he's going to do very well in that match. So, I think it's I think it's a great decision to push Damian Priest. I think Damian Priest needed this to get some momentum behind him. I think he needed this win tonight at NXT over Oni Lorcan and Ridge Holland in the triple threat match to see who will advance into NXT TakeOver 30 in the latter match for the North American Championship. This was a decent match. Was it was it was it great? No, but it was decent for what it was. I I liked it for what it was. It, I mean, it it was it was I mean, the, the wrestling was great. Don't get me wrong, the, the wrestling was great, but it is I don't I don't I'm not really a fan of triple threat matches. I'm not really a fan of like having triple threat matches. I'm just not a fan of it. Um I, I mean I like a triple threat match every once in a while, but like, you know, they've already had two and it kinda gets like overdone it. It kinda it kinda gets overdone at some point. It's like, okay, yeah. Another triple threat match is kinda like, uh, okay. I mean but I'm not really a threat. I'm not really a fan of triple threat matches. I've never been a fan of them, to be honest. But this triple threat match was decent between Damian Priest, Oni Lorcan, and Ridge Holland to see who will advance into uh, NXT Takeover 30 for the North American Championship in the latter match. This was this match was really decent. I thought it was all right for what it was. Um, it wasn't the greatest triple threat match, but it was decent. It was decent enough to, you know, just to just keep my attention. It kept my attention, and I enjoyed it for what it was. And Damian Priest ended up picking up the win over Oni Lorcan and Ridge Holland, and Damian Priest advances into NXT TakeOver 30, and he will be in the latter match at NXT TakeOver 30 for the North American Championship. And then we had then we had Tegan Knox versus Indy Hartwell. This was a pretty this was a pretty good match between Tegan Knox and Indy Hartwell on NXT. This match was decent. It was a decent one on one women's match. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, both women had a pretty decent match. If I mean the wrestling was pretty pretty good. It was pretty decent. It wasn't. It wasn't really nothing to write home about, but it was all right for exactly what it was. Tegan Knox and Indy Hartwell put on a pretty decent match on NXT. It was all right for exactly what it was, and Tegan Knox ended up hitting the um, hitting the uh, shiniest wizard on on uh, Indy Hartwell for the win, and Tegan Knox ends up picking up the win over Indy Hartwell in a pretty decent women's match on NXT. So, uh, Tegan Knox hit the Shining Wizard on uh, Indy Hartwell for the win. And then we had the undis we had, then in the main event of NXT, we had Imperium versus the Undisputed Era for the NXT Tag Team Championships. This was a just your this was an all right tag team match for exactly what it was supposed to do it, it it got imperium over um it made imperium look strong um i mean this was a pretty decent match with imperium and the undisputed era tonight on nxt for the nxt tag team championships this match was pretty decent i enjoyed it um it did what it was supposed to do and that is make imperium look strong um Imperium is a great tag team. I will admit that they are a great tag team. Um, do I think they're going to have a long run in NXT with the tag team championships? I think they will. I don't know who's going to beat Imperium for the NXT tag team championships. Maybe 
Induce share will beat uh, Imperium. I don't know, uh, but uh, this was a this was a pretty good match between Imperium and the Undisputed Era in the main event of NXT for the NXT Tag Team Championships. This match was this match was, it was just decent. It, it was just decent overall. It was it wasn't nothing to really write home about. It was what it was. Um, and it, and Imperium ended up picking up the win over the Undisputed Era in the main event of NXT for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And as NXT ended up going off the air, we had a brawl between Adam Cole and Pat McAfee. So that's how NXT ended up going off the air with a brawl with a brawl between Adam Cole and Pat McAfee. So, I'm going to give NXT a, about a, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. I like the, I like the match between Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley. That match was good for the number one, con, uh, for the number one contendership for the NXT Women's Championship to see who will face Io Shirai at NXT TakeOver 30. The triple threat match with Damian Priest versus Oni Lorcan versus Ridge Holland was decent. I, I like I pretty much like that. That was pretty. It was a pretty decent match for what it was, and the Indy Hartwell and Tegan Knox match was decent as well. So, I'll go three out of ten for NXT tonight. I'll go three out of ten. If you guys like this NXT review, hit that thumbs up. And the Imperium versus Undisputed Era match was decent. It was decent as well. Um, and Imperium ended up retaining their NXT Tag Team Championships over the Undisputed Era in the main event of NXT. So what do I? So where do I see? Um, um, do I think? What, so where do I see the Undisputed Era going? I think the Undisputed Era is getting called up. I think this was their final match on NXT. I think Undisputed Era is getting called up to the main roster. I think they're getting called up. I think this was their final farewell, uh, final farewell match on NXT. I think Undisputed Era is going to the main roster after their loss tonight to Imperium for the NXT Tag Team Championships. I think there's. I think Adam Cole's getting called up after his match with Pat McAfee at NXT Takeover 30. I think Adam Cole is getting called up. I think this is going to be Adam Cole's last match. And NXT as well. And I think the Undisputed Era is getting called up after NXT TakeOver 30. I think they're getting called up. Um, so that's where I think I think that's what's going on 